just want to say, you didn't have to transfer my heart for her. Cringe worthy. That was not my ex. It's time for me to go on holiday. So, we are planning to go to George Muscle Bay. While packing, I realized something that I am somebody that apparently likes the same kind of pants. Like, literally, all of them are exactly the same pants, just different colors. Um, yeah, it's like cargo shorts. Um, love traveling with them everywhere. And I need some new bags to pack my stuff in. I only have the other bags and this bag. Well, this bag I love. My wife made it. She like hand stitched it. Okay, so now it's up to my wife to come pack this, pack her stuff as well. Um, I always just take out the stuff I want to take with and she packs up everything and I'll be driving. Okay, it's 4.30 a.m. and we're about to leave to go to George and then after that to uh, Mosul Bay and Artenbos. Uh But first, first things first, can you pray for us for the road? Okay. Yeah, you. wife just woke up hey yes we in Britstown so I'm gonna go fetch some cool rings and then we're heading out again I'll tell you a story that happened a couple of years ago my family and I was on our way to uh, Artenbos and Mosul Bay for a vacation and as we were traveling on this road just before Victoria uh, West which is the next town my dad felt the Lord tell him, listen here, you should stop in Victoria West. And what happened then was he didn't. So we went through uh, Victoria West and our car broke down. That night we booked into a motel and after booking into the motel and worrying what's going to happen next, we started me and my father and I we walked down an alleyway in Victoria West and we entered this guy's shop randomly and my dad tapped me on the shoulder and told the guy behind the counter listen here this guy when he was two weeks old I wanted to shoot him I wanted to shoot myself and I wanted to shoot my wife and the Lord came into our life and he changed me and I didn't do it obviously because I'm sitting here uh, today so this guy, a big oak, starts crying and he says, this morning, my son is two weeks old and my business is uh, bankrupt and I took out the Magnum pistol to shoot him, my wife and myself. And I heard a voice tell me, wait until tonight. And that day, he gave his heart to Christ. So while entering in Victoria West, I'll quickly go show you that alleyway we went down 
because I think it's such an amazing story to know that doesn't matter where you are in life doesn't matter if you're on your way to vacation you can still help someone you can still be there for someone So right behind me is the actual building. Yeah, this is the alleyway we came down that night. And this is the shop we entered. So I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna see uh, if the owner is actually here. Okay, so. Um, they say he stays just next door. I'm quickly gonna go over to him and see if he's, he's here. Okay, so I'm sitting here with um, the guy that we met that night. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you? I'm very good. So t tell me that night what, what happened. Yeah, I was busy working in my shop and uh, very depressed and uh, my gun was lying next to me. Oh, I'm feeling and I was I was about to, to, to kill my, uh, my whole family and the next moment the guy walks into my shop and he tells me that God sent him to me and he must come and pray for me. And uh, I'm very sure about it, that it definitely God. If there's somebody out there that don't believe in God, I can tell you there is a God and He is alive. His Son is alive. His Son has died for us on the cross. And uh, our sins, if you believe in Him, our sins is uh, forgiven. Please give your heart to Jesus. He is alive and He will be coming back soon. Okay, so we're about to go again. Um, Victoria West is halfway to our end destination for the day, which is in George. So we're off again. We are on Three Sisters. Is that's the town's name in Afrikaans it's three sisters and yeah it's three sisters I can't seem to find them anywhere here but we've just filled up with diesel gonna grab a quick breakfast So we are still in Beaufort West driving through and one of the main points, whatever, you, attractions, attractions of Beaufort West is uh, Chris Barnard was born in um, Beaufort West. That is the guy that did the first heart transplant in the world. So yeah, he was born here. 